No stranger to portable power and life off-grid with solar panels, Suwauki's new S200 power station offers a lot of features for just $230. The variety of input cables and options for output make the S200 extremely versatile, and it comes with a uniquely designed package compared to most power stations of this capacity. Let's check it out! Thanks for watching 9to5toys! Be sure to like, subscribe, and enable notifications with the bell icon so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Hi, this is Jordan with 9to5toys. Out of the box, the S200 has a lot of accessories to work with a wide variety of power sources. It has a standard AC plug for wall outlets, an MC4 cable to connect to solar panels, a cigarette lighter connector, DC connector cable, and a USB Type-C cable. In my opinion, one of the most unique things about the S200 is its design. Weighing in at 5.9 pounds and measuring 6.6 .6 inches deep by 2.5 inches wide, 10 inches tall, it looks solidly built all around, but instead of the more blocky design that most portable power stations use, this S200 has a tall, slender design. I think that makes it pack into spaces even easier. The top handle has a nice texture to help avoid slipping. On the front of the S200 we find the LCD display, all of the on, off buttons, a 5 volt 2.4 amp USB output, QC 3.0 USB Type A output, DC 12 volt 10 amp output, and a USB Type C PD output. On the back, we have the DC 14 to 40 volt input and AC 110 volt output. To turn on any of the power outputs, the button must be held for a couple seconds. Personally, I'd be okay with it just being turned on with the press of a button, but it's not that big of an inconvenience. But one thing I do wish was different is the battery capacity display. It's represented with an icon on the S200, but I wish it was a percentage. With something that's meant to charge devices multiple times, I would rather see a more accurate reading of just how much juice is left in the tank. With a 200 watt hour or 54,000 milliamp hour battery, the S200 can keep a lot of devices powered while off the grid. Suwauki claims that it can charge a MacBook Air two and a half times, an iPhone 10 over 17 times, a GoPro 6 over 25 times, or power a mini cooler at 40 watts for at least three and a half hours. We've already covered a few other power stations this year, one of which being the Amazon Choice for Portable Power Station and the best seller in outdoor generators, the Jackery Explorer 240. The Jackery is great, but a little bit pricier at $250, and doesn't have the USB Type-C output for newer devices. Another one we've covered this year is the Anchor Powerhouse 200. This is a feature-packed and stylish power station from a more well-known brand. The powerhouse also keeps a small profile with its soft handle on top that eliminates the need for excessive plastic to carry the power station, but this compact design comes with a $300 price tag. Overall, I'm a big fan of the Suwauki S200. I like the unique design and the full set of features make it easy to pack along no matter what I'm doing. It's easy to throw in the back of a car when headed out for camping or a video shoot. What do you think of the Suwauki S200? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. This is Jordan with 9to5toys.